it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to do some week by week pregnancy updates so I can let you guys know everything that's been going on. So I have a bunch of notes written down on week four and week five and six. I was too scared to start filming anything during that time. So I'm just going to read off of a bunch of notes that have been happening. Yeah, I was too scared to film anything because I didn't want anything to happen and then me have all these videos, but I have just been trying to stay positive. So now it's, it's actually week seven right now and I'm gonna do a live week seven day by day just so I think staying positive will be what's best for me and the baby. I sing to the baby every morning. I'm like, girl, baby girl, you're doing such a great job. <laughs> But yeah, that's like the only thing keeping me sane is just singing to the baby. So yeah, I'm gonna go over week four, week five, and week six all in this one video and hopefully it's not too long. And then every week after that will be its own video since it's going to be updated and current at that point. All right, so starting off with week four, my stomach was so, so, so bloated and I was so constipated. like. Y'all, I am telling you, this was a whole new level of constipation that I have never experienced in my 24 years of life. Like, I felt like my stomach was so heavy, so bloated, and I couldn't poop, and then I was too scared to take probiotics because I hadn't talked to my doctor yet to see if I could. I'm taking them now because I know I can, so everything has been a little bit better, but I think with just the influx of extra progesterone that was running through my body, it was making me extremely constipated and like nothing I ate, nothing I did would stop the bloat or the constipation. So that was really, really tough in the first, during week four. I was also so exhausted. Like I am not normally a very tired person, but I noticed when I was working out at the gym, I couldn't do as much as I normally could and I thought I was getting sick like I mentioned in the pregnancy announcement video. I thought I was getting sick and so my body was just getting weaker and so during this time I was so 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 tired and being pregnant was ex explained why I was so tired but like coming home from work I literally would just pass out on the couch. I couldn't even cook or do anything because I was so tired, but Chad would just be like, get up, like you can't just lay there. So I just had to force myself to get up and then I'd go to bed super early and still struggle waking up. But it was like, I just could not get enough sleep at all, no matter what I did. So on September 1st, I did my first blood draw and everything actually came back great, but you normally need two blood draws to compare how your HCG levels are doubling. So women with PCOS typically have very low levels of progesterone. So getting that tested is extremely important because if your progesterone is really low, your doctor will actually prescribe you progesterone pills to either take orally or put vaginally inside of you. And that helps with keeping your lining thick because if your progesterone levels are really low, you will actually have a very, very high chance of miscarrying. So I tested my progesterone levels and I tested my HCG and it came back as 20 for my progesterone. And then my HCG levels was 207. So the doctor still prescribed me progesterone anyway, just in case. And so I had that, but I wasn't taking it just yet. So in my notes, I literally have in here, I am so excited, but I can't believe, I can't tell anyone, eee! but I, yeah, I remember I was just freaking out during that time and I wanted to tell like all my family and some close friends, but we were still very scared at this point, so we kept it a secret and we still haven't told everyone just yet. We're still waiting on his parents to get here so we can tell them and then we can finally tell everyone else. All right, so that's all I had for week four. And then week five, I went back to the doctor again for a second blood draw two or three days later. I, th I think it was two days later so we could see what the doubling time of my XCG was in 48 hours. So the progesterone came back and it was actually 18.6 compared to the first time when it was 20. And so the doctor said that I should start taking my progesterone just to make sure it keeps going up and then my HCG levels were at 465. So it doubled perfectly fine 
and everything was okay. But during that wait time, it was so nerve wracking because early pregnancy and the first trimester, your chances of miscarrying are very, very high. So like all those numbers are so important to make sure they're going up and your progesterone levels are okay. So everything was looking okay on that end. And I was very, very relieved at that point. And then I was also still extremely bloated and extremely constipated. And no matter how much fiber I ate, it still didn't help. It was very, very uncomfortable. So at this point, my anxiety was literally through the roof. Like I don't think I have ever been as stressed out in my life as I was during week five of the pregnancy. I was just freaking out about everything, thinking about all these what ifs to the point where I couldn't even enjoy the fact that I was pregnant. I was just so scared every single day that something was going to happen that I literally could not get my mind off of it. And I feel like this is definitely has been one of the hardest seasons of my life only because throughout my entire life, I've always felt like I had some type of control. So I never fully understood what it meant to surrender yourself fully to God. And I feel like this pregnancy has finally allowed me to do that because now I have an understanding that literally nothing is in my control and I just have to trust in him and just keep praying and all that stuff. So this week was really, really tough, but a lot of the praying has definitely helped me get closer to God and just make me feel so much better about all of this. And then I went to my first ultrasound on September 10th. I thought I was six weeks at this point, but I actually was not. So typically people with PCOS, they aren't as far along as you would initially think if you just go by your last date of your period only because we literally ovulate all over the place and we never know when we ovulate. So I ovulated very late and when I went to my first ultrasound, I was only like five-ish weeks and we saw the gestational sac and then we saw a little baby, but baby was only a sesame seed. So we really didn't get to see anything. And then I did more blood work, did my progesterone and my HCG levels. And then I wasn't supposed to go back to the doctor until the 25th of September. But my blood work came back and my progesterone was 29, which was really good. But my HCG levels was 8,700. So the nurse called me and she just absolutely freaked me out for no reason because she was like, oh, your HCG levels are really high and that's kind of concerning because typically when it's that high, we see more on the ultrasound. So I was like, great, baby was literally a sesame seed and my HCG levels are this high and now like she's freaking me out and I had already started to calm down a little bit at that point. But then after hearing that, my anxiety just went all the way up again because I was so scared something bad was going to happen. So she rescheduled my appointment for September 21st instead to come in. All right, so now this is week six that we are going to talk about. This week I was so, so nauseous. Week five, I didn't have any nausea yet. And I was like, oh, like, is this normal? I don't have any symptoms yet. And then week six hit me like a train and I kid you not, I just felt so sick. Like literally the entire day I would feel sick. I would wake up feeling sick afternoon I'd be sick come home from work and be sick and I was just still so tired and then add nausea on top of that it did not feel good at all so I would take all the nausea in the world for little baby so I just had to keep staying positive and singing to baby and encouraging baby to grow and so yeah finally the second ultrasound comes it's September 21st now and going to this ultrasound, I have never been more nervous in my entire life. Like, especially leaving the first ultrasound and then getting the call from the nurse saying, oh, this is concerning because baby was so small. Going to this ultrasound, I was just so scared that there was going to be nothing there again. Because in the first ultrasound, we didn't even see the yolk sac. We literally just saw a sesame seed. It was just like a dot in the gestational sac nothing else beyond that and 
a lot of the stuff that I read on Google was that at levels that high you should see something. So then at that point I was like, oh my gosh, I have a molar pregnancy or something. But to have a molar pregnancy is pretty rare and your levels have to be like over a million or something. So I was just freaking myself out for no reason. We go to the ultrasound and we finally do the ultrasound and we see the baby in there. And at this point I am measuring six weeks and six days. And we got to hear little baby's heartbeat. It was 1.30 and the doctor said everything looked good. And then a very surprising thing as well, she said the cysts on my ovaries were pretty much gone. So I was really happy about that too. Yeah, it was very surprising, but she said everything looked good, baby looked healthy, and we got to hear its little heartbeat. And I just like, I teared up, of course, because I was just so happy to see baby there. And then we got our little baby photos. I feel like everyone's first photos, you're just like, <sighs> just can't stop staring at it so tiny but baby measured 8.6 millimeters when we first went baby was only 1.8 millimeters so from the 10th to the 21st baby grew from 1.2 millimeters to 8.6 millimeters it's growing so fast but yeah my next ultrasound isn't until october 7th so that's going to be in another two weeks and i'm just hoping that everything goes as planned but yeah so that is the whole week four to week six updates and then i am going to do more updates after that but i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see you on my next one